Good morning and welcome to Gloucester. And I haven't said that in a month. The joy of being a member of two courses. So there's been an awful lot of weather since I last played. And it's pretty windy today. Aiming up the right to use the slope. And I've misjudged the wind because that's blown it into the rough. And it hasn't come back down. So my first round in a month isn't starting too well. Just a little chip out, let it run across the fairway, leave ourselves 75. With the best will in the world, I'll be starting with a bogey. And the greens are a bit quicker too. Well that drive is absolutely slaughtered, low and running, so the fairways are still firm. Little pitch to a very front flag and it stops. So it's all changed there and we wipe out that bogey straight away. On to the third, I'm guessing a six iron up here. I'm still not sure what the wind's doing. This pitch is no more than three feet from the flag, but it runs out. Yep, the wind pushed it, which takes a spin off, but another par. On to four, and this is far too straight. I was looking to hit a draw. Why didn't the wind push it to the left? So I've run out of space into the rough, out with a six, very chunky, catch the back of the bunker, which means it's not going to stop. But I can still chip a bit, and that's another par. Under five. I'm going to try a five iron up here, try and get as close to the pond as I can, and then try a shorter shot in. Your job is to catch the tee peg. And that is so well hit. And I've only got 48 in, so it's out with the sand wedge, open the face a bit. And over the water. Leaving me a very, very cagey putt down the green. And another par. On to six, and I just cannot get comfortable with this left to right and into wind. So I haven't committed to that. And it's a god awful shot. But I'm far enough back that getting over this oak tree isn't an issue. And I can get over the ditch. Out with the gap wedge and the wind shoves us off to the right edge of the green. This isn't exactly how I saw playing this hole today. But a par is a par, you take it and you move on. Number seven goes the same way as six. This time I'm going to commit to the drive and hit it properly. And of course the wind shoves it a bit, but this time I've done a little better. Just got a wedge in, which I semi-knife. But it was one of those where you catch it just below <laughs> center of gravity, and so it spins. We're at the back of the green, another cagey putt down, and another par. On to eight. The pond doesn't exist down this wind. And we fly it with ease to the point where it runs hard across the fairway and into the rough. Seven iron over the tree. 
just move the ball forward about an inch and a half, stay down on it and hit through and you'll get over. And in fact it's gone 20 yards too far. I really don't have a grip of this wind today. But we record another birdie and we're going under par. Off to nine. Well I guess at the left edge of the green has been my target. And because I absolutely pured it, the wind didn't touch it at all. So I've landed on the edge of the green and just tickled over the side. I said that there would come a point where on 10 it was just a 3 wood and I was wrong it should have been the 5 wood chip and run with a 7 iron onto the front of the green where the pro is giving a bunker lesson and I allowed myself to become distracted so we're back on the bogeys Four iron up the hill. Now I don't hit this well. I don't think it's mechanical. I think it's just the intimidation of the four iron. I think it's going on in my head. So that is something that I need to fix. The other thing I should have been doing today is taking the flag out. Then at least you might have seen just how close this came before it turned away. So we're back to level. I've got to aim well left here. As soon as this ball comes out of the chute, it'll get pushed hard right. So I did the right thing, aiming into the wind. And then a simple tidy up for par. except I complicated it a little bit. The flag is back right. It's a howling wind. This is not the time to go pin hunting. So of course I go pin hunting. This was not far away but it released. I think this green might be a little firmer than the rest or perhaps it was the wind taking the spin off the ball. Either way we rack up another par and on to 14. Hybrid up 14 and a little pull and I've gone down the bank a bit which isn't nice but it's better than being right and out of bounds not going to do anything special with this just going to allow the ground to turn the ball right to left and then when the ball lands the ground up there turns it right to left one two six nine iron a bit of an ask perhaps an eight would have been better because it's left me one of the hardest putts on the green with the flag being down here on the left this thing can run away like crazy. So a bit of a cagey putt. And we rack up another par. Absolutely murdered it down 15. Wind pushing it across to the left edge of the fairway. Finally, I'm in a fairway again. Try a little bunt with the gap wedge, keep it down, take the spin off. From here it looked pretty close. In reality, a good 15 feet or more away. And another par. Now the easy 16th, when the wind is hard left to right, is suddenly no longer.
longer easy. Well, as soon as I dragged this left of target, I knew exactly where it would finish up. Long bunker shots, sometimes I'm good at these, sometimes not so much. But the one thing I'm not good at is putting when the wind is shoving me about a bit, as it was on the exposed 16th and now the exposed 17th green. So we've let go our score, we're now one over, just the last to go, ta -ra.